Are you looking for a property that's close to the beach, but not exactly on the beach? Well, this is the video for you. If you are new here, my name is Michelle and I'm your Central Florida Realtor. I'm here to help you with all of your relocation needs. Today I am in the city of Edgewater and we are less than six miles from New Smyrna Beach. So that'll take you less than 15 minutes to get to the beach. So great location, we have everything nearby and also the Daytona airport is only 23 miles away. So you have your options here whether you wanna come in from Daytona or you wanna come in from the Orlando airport. Such a great location, I absolutely love it. I love going to New Smyrna Beach. It's one of my favorite beaches, so I'm super excited to share this location with you. This particular property is a two-story home. This floor plan is by Miranda Homes and it's called the Carlise. And we have four bedrooms, two and a half baths. And this one here, you see that they have the pavers on the outside on the driveway that is standard and also this is a three car garage. So I know it doesn't look like that from the outside, but when I get inside, I will show it to you. Without further ado, guys, let's go and take a look at the inside of the property. All right, everyone. So this property is a little over 2,700 square feet. So as soon as you come in, you're gonna notice that you have the tile floor all throughout. And this is the level two tile. So when you get to the design center, this is level two. So you have this cute little foyer here and immediately to my left, you have this flex space, which they're using as an office at the moment. So right now you can see that they have this office space. You do have lighting, you have the double pane windows right here. And you also have the uh, higher ceilings in here as well. So good amount of space. If you don't need this as an office, you can maybe use this as a second family room. As we swing back this way towards the hallway, on my left, you have a half bathroom. So this is a great location here for anybody on this level so that you don't have to go upstairs to use the restroom. And it's a good amount of space as well. So nice and convenient here. And then automatically on my right, this is the entrance to the garage. So let's take a look at this here. The reason why I wanna show you guys this garage is because this is a three car garage. And again, you can also see that it's concrete block and it's always good to get a, an idea on that when you're looking at the property. You have the water heater here. Keep in mind, guys, they have some storage here, so don't mind any of the stuff, but this is a three car garage. So as I come further back, you see that you have this additional pad here. So this can either be for a vehicle or because we're so close to the beach, maybe people have boats or also jet skis or maybe even trucks. So you need the extra space to pull in and also golf carts or motorcycles. I mean, so many things, right? So it's nice that they have this additional space back here. All right, so now we're gonna come into the main family room, right? So you do have the staircase to my left leading upstairs. And then of course this open space here, open kitchen and family area. So I love this concept because you still have some privacy up in the front of the home. And then once you get here, it's a beautiful open concept. There's literally windows and doors all around. So there's light coming in from every angle. Like there's really not a reason to have so much lights on. It's beautiful in here and spacious. We're gonna come around to the kitchen and you can see that you have a large quartz island. You have the double sink. So this one doesn't have the farm style sink. I do like that a little bit better um, having the farm style, but you can always change that. And then of course you have the 42 inch cabinets. This is more of their standard model. So pretty much this is like the standard um, cabinets that you can select. And if you wanted to update them, you can when you get to the design center. So over here, you do have pantry space, which is phenomenal. So you get to put all your stuff away in addition to all the cabinet space. You do have stainless steel appliances as well. 
and of course, easy access to move throughout the kitchen. And it leads directly right here to this little nook area where you can put a table to eat. And it's not that small because they do have a very large table here. So if you don't need all this seating, you can put a smaller table and feel like you have even more space to flow through. Another cool feature about this particular island, I love that they added like this shelving here on the side, which is great, right? Because we all know the more storage, the better. So it's nice because you can put some of the plates and things for the dinner table right there so it's convenient when you're sitting down. So I thought that was kind of cool. That's not something that you see all of the time. Right away, this leads right into your living room, right? So beautiful open space. Again, guys, there's windows literally from every angle here, which lets in so much light. I absolutely love that. You know I talk about that all the time. In my videos, having natural light coming in, it feels so good to have that in your house. So it's also convenient for anyone that might be in the kitchen. If you're you know, in the kitchen doing dishes, cooking, whatever it is, you're able to see the TV from here. You're able to see the family. So you always get to feel like you're united and you're not separated from everyone. Guys, so in this particular floor plan, all of the bedrooms are on the upstairs with the flex space. So let's check that out. So as soon as we get up here, you'll notice that the flex space is kind of divided, which is nice. So right now they have this as a workout little area. So they have the yoga mats, um, which is pretty cool. So really spacious. This is exactly what I would use it for. Or who knows, you can make this an office, a second living room, whatever you might need. One great feature about up here is that they have the windows up here, which lets in a lot of light. If you were going to use this as a little exercise studio, then it's great to have that sunlight coming in to give you that extra energy. So as we swing, swing around this way, we do have the laundry room right here. This is a full laundry room. And of course you have cabinet space, you have a full washer and dryer up here, and you have countertop space. So this is really a great space. You have all the bedrooms here, so it's convenient to have the laundry room upstairs. And then of course the cabinets so that you can put away your detergent and everything and not have everything all on the exterior. I am not 100% um, positive whether or not they include the washer and dryer, so that's something we can inquire about if you're interested in this property. So as we swing on over this way to this part of the flex space, you'll notice that they have, this as kind of like a hangout space. They do have little workspace areas. So guys, use your imagination. If you did not need this as an office, you could use this as whatever you'd like, but the fact that you have the space is great. So it's just to give you an idea of how you can set it up. And I really like this concept of having these slimmer desks up here and somewhere to kind of just sit, you know, if you have the workout studio over there. So just so many options on what you can do. So as we step on back this way, here is one of the smaller bedrooms, and this is a great size room. Right now they don't have it staged, so it's just bare for you to see. They have huge windows in here. They do have the fixture in the ceiling, but they don't have any ceiling fans or anything for you, but really good amount of space. You could fit a queen size bed and even a king if you wanted to push it, but I would probably just leave it as a queen size. And then you do have a walk-in closet as well. So really great amount of space, good closet space. So this is a really good kids room. All right, so now we're gonna check out bedroom number two. So as we swing on over this way, onto this side of the house. Again, another great size bedroom. So again, this one's just a little bit smaller than that front room, but still a really good size. But this one does not have a walk-in closet. So this one pretty much has the standard size closet with the bifold doors, which you can always change in the future. And I'm sure you noticed that up here, you have carpeting all on the second floor. Most people like that because it keeps the sound a little better and more quiet for downstairs, but that's something you can always change if you're not a fan of carpets. All right, so now we're gonna check out the family bath. So we're gonna come out and go to my left, and then you have a double vanity sink here, and you do have cabinet space, and then of course a full bathtub as well. So this is nice because, you know, you do have four bedrooms up here, so it's nice that even though this is the family bath, they did include the double vanity so that if more than one person is using this bathroom, they each can have a little bit of their own space. All right, so now we're gonna check out bedroom number three. And again, they're all pretty much close together here on the second floor. 
This is another standard size room and I can always get you guys the dimensions if you need dimensions, but use your imagination here. Again, this is really spacious. You can definitely fit a queen size bed. You do have natural light coming in. And then on this bedroom, you also have another walk-in closet. So already two of the bedrooms have walk-in closets and one of them is just a standard size. Now we're gonna check out the primary bedroom and I love this bedroom. You will notice as soon as you come in that you have the tray ceilings on the top, which is really nice, extremely spacious in here. This is a king size bed for reference. And as you can see, I'm moving around and there's plenty of space to move around. They have dressers in here. You also have a huge chair and then you have windows on either side. So it lets in a lot of light as well. So really spacious bedroom, which is great. You could also add more furniture if you wanted to, but if you're a minimalist and this is what you like, then this is great. Let's go check out the bathroom. And this is a beautiful bathroom here. Again, I'm a huge fan of having a stand-up shower and a bathtub to give people options. You know, um, a lot of builders don't do the bathtubs anymore, so it's nice to see that they actually included one. And then of course you have double vanity sink there and your water closet. So you can close this door and you know, someone can use the bathroom and have their privacy. And of course you have a huge walk-in closet. So lots of space in here. And right now they just have hangers and good stuff like that. But I tell you guys all the time, this is just the basic wiring. You can always change this later on if you wanted to. All right, so that concludes the upstairs. Now let's go check out the outside in the backyard. All right, now let's check out the outside here. So you feel the humidity as soon as you come outside right now, it's pure summer guys. So right now when you come out, you'll notice that you have a small and I space and it's covered here. So if you wanted to, you could finish this up and add some screens so that the mosquitoes don't get you at night. But if you don't really care, you can just leave this open and you've got a small area here where they put some pavers so that you can put some chairs and whatever you might need, or maybe a grill. And it's a small yard space. So for me, I think this is perfect because if you have younger children or if you have any pets, they have enough space to move around and play and things of that sort, but it's not so big where it's so much yard to take care of. I know a lot of people don't wanna deal with that. So this is a really great low maintenance backyard. All right, so if you made it this far, you obviously wanna know more about the numbers, right? So this particular builder, right now this floor plan is going for about 517,000. And the cool part is they are offering a really good amount of incentives. So right now they are offering 10,000 towards your closing costs and then $20,000 in flex cash. And what that means is you can actually use that $20,000 to buy down your interest rate or towards your design center, right? So I know I mentioned to you guys that when you're looking at these model homes, some of these are upgrades. So you may wanna pick different cabinets or you may wanna pick different style floors and you can use that money towards that change. So that is a really great option. The HOA here is $87 a month. They do have a kid's playground, but they do not have a community pool. But hey, that's okay, right? The beach is only a few minutes away. In addition to that, there's no CDD fee here. I do wanna mention that even though we are only just 15 minutes from the beach, this property does not fall in a flood zone. So that is really good. I know some of you may ask me that. All right, so if this particular floor plan or location doesn't work for you, that's okay. Go back and watch some of my other content. And of course, until next time, I'll see you around.